Welcome to episode 17 of the RV Man OV Exhibition. This time we're playing in Scorpion's playthrough. Yay! We get to play a Scorpion! Everybody has the right to applause. Ah, look! Chameleon! And Chameleon! By the way, Kung Lao posing as that masked guard is a play on Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Just thought I'd let you know. Ah, uh, here we go, folks. I took away the bars for a reason. They aren't really necessary, but Scorpion, his move said, just is the same, except he doesn't have to flip kick anymore. Let's see. His spear, when you enhance it, obviously he'll throw two of them. Also, his teleport punch does extra damage if you enhance it as well, as well as extra hits. The flame. You enhance that too, it'll do extra damage, and of course, the takedown will also do extra damage as well. And Scorpion is yet another character with an air throw. Thing is, yeah, that x-ray is pretty badass. Thing is, you may barely see it. But Scorpion does a lot of damage. And I mean a lot of damage. <laughs> this is so fucking hilarious. I love doing that. But the thing about Scorpion, everyone on Xbox Live and PSN plays as him. I mean, he's got a strength boost. Thankfully, not that incredible strength boost in Mortal Kombat Deception, because that was just fucking ridiculous. Facing Shuchinko with Scorpion that does 200 damage to you is just bullshit. Yeah, give him what he wants. Oh god, Raiden's right seeing the future again. Oh, and don't worry about Kung Lao and Nightwolf. We'll be seeing them or playing as them later. Yep, Scorpions rather a uh, very angry guy. And keep in mind, folks, this is the events long before Scorpion found out Quan Chi killed his clan and family. So everything in Mortal Kombat 4 basically didn't happen around this storyline. In case anybody's wondering. And yes, I'm doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, I might want to be careful. <laughs> the two spears. I basically took off the meter because, plain and simple, in order for me to actually show the meter, my TV would end up being caught in it as well. And I try my best to keep it out of the picture as much as humanly possible. That throw is sick. I'm surprised nobody died from that. 
That'd be like an instant kill move or something. He just jabs his spear into your throat and it slings you. Yeah, Quan Chi is a douche. In a good way, because he's a villain anyway. Why does that sound so freaking familiar? <gasps> oh yeah, the Elder Gods made that request to Scorpion in Deception to kill Onaga and he'll bring back all of his clan and family and himself to the realm of mortals. So when he they did kill Onaga, they instead turned the Shiraiyu to zombies. So I wouldn't trust him if I were you, Scorpion. By the way, this is Ormergen's storyline I'm talking about. It means giving up our free will, our souls, that will turn us into Scorpion. Your inferior clan is dead. Sector and Cyrax. My clan may walk the earth once more. Why is a Cyrax of dreadlocks? Scorpion versus Cyrax and Sector. Oh, God damn it, Shang Tsung! Why? Oh, don't worry, we'll be getting a Cyrax as well. As a matter of fact, he's the next episode. But it's his partner, Sector, that we won't be seeing much of. Sector is the same way he was, except now his flamethrowers are actually his move instead of his fatality. His flamethrowers will just launch a longer fire from a long distance if it's enhanced. But as for the rest of his moves... He'll fire double missiles upward and forward if they're enhanced, the homing missile if it's enhanced, and of course, the infamous teleports, ugh, teleport punch, which you'll probably be seeing when enhanced, it'll do extra damage. But needless to say, Sector as well got a somewhat of a strength boost. You could barely see Scorpion's moves doing damage. But Sector really does have a... Yeah, see that shit? I love that freaking x-ray. Anyway, Sector's moves definitely have somewhat of a move base. Honestly, I wish they'd have kept Sector's weapon, or at least Cyrax. Sector with his two lightsabers. Honestly... Armageddon would have been a better game if they'd allowed you to have more weapons to customize. I mean, more weapon sets to customize your characters with. Then we'll see a lot of people walking around with lightsabers, either seeing Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader or Darth Sidious or even General Grievous. But no. There were some moves we couldn't use, and some weapons we couldn't use, and Sectors was one of them. Anyway... Sector is much more balanced, because now his... That's the thing about most of these characters. They make most of these characters more balanced, just in case their fighting style... Or well, more like their moveset. Okay, let me try to fix that. I'm trying to think here. Ah, there it is. More like his special moves. If their special moves are like fail and they get reversed or blocked or whatever. They have plenty of normal moves to compensate. Sector, I gotta say, was really horrible in Armageddon. It was nice to see him in Armageddon, but 
Nothing really changed except for his flamethrowers. Yeah, see? There's his enhanced uppercut. And I'm almost dead. Shit. Come on, beat him, beat him. Oh! So close. Oh, sorry about that. Apparently some things got caught in the recording. Anyway, um... Cyrax... Well, not Cyrax. Sector. Sector was also a horrible choice to face Mataro with in Mortal Kombat 3. Just for the fact that Mataro can bounce back or pass through most of his projectiles. Sorry about that lag for a second there. Yeah. Just for the simple fact that Sector can... That most of Sector's moveset was pretty much neutered once Mataro came into play. It was just ridiculous. And then, when Jade debuted in Mortal Kombat 3, it was Sector's worst nightmare! Don't worry, even though I lose this round, I will actually win this... Okay, even though I lose the first fight, I win the second fight. Probably the only time I'm losing. But once again, this is an endurance fight. Hey, dick! Yeah, this will be one of many endurance fights. Like I said, there will be endurance fights in certain parts of this game. Oh, but my least favorite endurance fight is way at the end of the story. Meanwhile... Sector, like I said, horrible choice when facing Jade or facing, yeah, when facing Jade or facing Mataro, and especially facing Nightwolf. <coughs> Sorry about that, I have a, somewhat of a cold, because Nightwolf beforehand was easily able to uh, projectile reflect most of Sector's missiles. And it just... It just really made me think. Why would they do something like that to Sector? Make characters that can neuter Sector. I mean, he's now better in this game, but... They definitely made characters that neutered Sector, but when he came out in 4 as a secret character, Sector was more of a bastard. And there was nothing that could deflect his projectiles back at him. Oh, yeah, there's Sector's X-Ray, by the way. Pretty brutal. Yeah, there's nothing that could... Deflect Sector's projectiles back at him, and there's also nothing that can defend against him except for blocks. Basically, Sector and Kai were like one and the same with annoying projectiles coming out of nowhere. And in, I mean, Sector probably has like the least amount of games because he showed up in three and trilogy and. Gold and he also showed up in the Deadly Alliance for the Game Boy Advance. Uh oh, oh shit! It's the feud. It's the feud. I'm glad they brought that back, by the way, as a parody to his one fatality. I 
I don't know, I'm glad they brought the stage back and made it look better. I mean, they made this stage look better than what it did in Trilogy. If only they would have actually brought back the one fatality that I wanted to see in 3D. And a scorpion summoning a whole bunch of scorpions and beating the shit out of the player like he did back in Mortal Kombat 3. And actually show all those scorpions ripping that person apart. That would be awesome to see that. But, unfortunately, no. And once again, I'll discuss more about Sub-Zero in the next... Well, whenever I get to him. I mean, we've got a long way to go before we get to play a Sub-Zero. Well, there's his X-Ray, so there's no need to worry about that one. <laughs> whenever I see... Sub-Zero's X-Rays, Scorpion's X-Rays... I'm, like, excited because this is some of the brutal stuff that Egg Boon wanted to do in most games. Because either A, they don't have the data, or B, the games that actually sponsored them just, well, wouldn't do it. Damn it, Quan Chi! Uh, I will be honest with you. Even though that is visual proof that the Shiraiu got wiped out by the Lin Kuei under Sub Zero's command, this is more like the same scenario with Mephless and Silver from Sonic 06. Mephless to say. Here's the Impulse Tricker. I'll show him to you. Go kill him. And you see Sonic standing behind the flames of fire. I mean, it's ridiculous. How would Quan Chi know that Sub Zero killed all of his clan and family if he wasn't there? He could just use magic or something and. And just show Scorpion, but still, how would he know that? And I don't even look like, I mean, I may look like Sub Zero. But I could tell right away that that wasn't. And that fatality's back too. Believe it or not, it's back. However, you have to buy that fatality DLC. No, I'm not kidding, folks. You gotta buy Scorpion's MK1 costume DLC and then perform the fatality in or outside of gameplay, and then it will be available. At least they brought some attention to detail to this game. Anyway. That's the end of Sub Zero for now. Yeah. We're gonna need a broom and a dustpan. <laughs> Reference to mythology. Participation in this tournament. Well, 
fighting by Shang Tsung. We paid you to kill Earthrealm warriors. Betraying your own realm? I expect better, even from an assassin. My loyalty is to the Grand Master. Victory for Shang Tsung means the end of Earthrealm. And the Lin Kuei. Well, with that said, you're going to need to broom the sweep of Sub-Zero, and I'm going to put an end to this video right here. This is Army Man 985, we get to deal with Cyrax in the next part. See you guys next time.